Yes, you did indeed just witness a man fire a rocket from his ass cheeks. To you, this might seem a little crazy, or even borderline insane. But to the Dutch, it's just another New Year's Eve. The Netherlands, 364 days of the year, is quite peaceful. Normally, the closest the average Dutchie gets to war, or oorlog, is a patatje oorlog. On the 31st of December, this all changes. Besides Olibolo, de Klok, winning 10 euros in the Staatslotterij, having a few drinks and watching old grumpy men on television, their most beloved New Year's tradition is making their safe little country feel like a war zone. The rest of the year, there's a ban on fireworks. Strictly forbidden. So when the ban is lifted, it's time for liftoff. Whereas most countries around the world celebrate the occasion with one big majestic show, the Dutch celebrate with thousands of smaller, less majestic shows. Just for themselves. And sometimes their neighbors. Marveling at the colors, sounds, and smells of the explosions, the Dutch briefly come together as one. Ignite to unite. At the end of December, bike shops, garden centers, and hardware stores all over the country transform into highly secured fireworks shops as people line up to collect their arsenal. Last year alone, 68 million euros was spent on rotas, matches, poches, pylon, fontainen, bondertolen, Boot seekers oh. and screaming housemaids. Lit individually or all at once. <laughs> Although technically illegal, the days leading up to out and new, you'll already start to hear explosions. The group responsible, the group that wreaks havoc, craves destruction, and must absolutely be avoided at all costs. 13-year-old boys. Survival tip. See one? Run. They're armed. They're dangerous. Stop, Polici! But they're not too bright. Stop! With a strategy reminiscent of IS, <laughs> almost all of their evil deeds are captured on video, easily identified by their signature giggles. <laughs> and awestruck boyos. <laughs> on dumpert.nl, with their trademark green logo, you'll find a fascinating archive of their systematic end-of-year destruction of public property. Especially popular are garbage bins, mailboxes, and bus stops. But there's also sewer drains, garbage containers, garbage containers breaking a streetlight, phone books, cars, refrigerators, Wheelbarrows. <laughs> this poor lady. Frau, stop, 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 Frau. <laughs> and even a goddamn fucking tree. Royo, indeed. You might be wondering, is everyone cool with this yearly apocalypse? Well, actually, the Dutch are pretty divided. On one side, you've got people who clearly love the tradition. Yes, yes, yes. On the other side, well, they're less enthusiastic. <laughs> Every year there are thousands of injuries to eyes, hands, eardrums, and whatever the hell this hit. Pleading for a ban, medical experts point to these statistics, while government officials point to the millions in damage. While well, some kids don't point at all. Decades of gruesome anti-firework campaigns seem to have slowly swayed public opinion, and political parties are increasingly in favor of banning the sale of consumer fireworks completely. On the other hand though, there's people who love the exhilaration and thrill of lighting fireworks and watching it together, and who would hate to see yet another Dutch tradition lost. 
For now, the healthy debate continues. So basically, you have two choices. Stock up and stay in, or get out and stay low. Whatever you choose, Happy New Year. Stay safe. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. And also to Dumpert for all the great footage. If you enjoyed the video, we have more. Uh, check us out on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if you want to help us make more videos, we have Patreon. You can sponsor us for as little as a euro per video. Uh, 2019, we're going to release a lot more uh, videos, which would be great, because uh, 2018, um, yeah, this was the first. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we released a video in 2018! Woo! Happy New Year, everybody.